Hello, in this session, we are going to look at how you can authenticate or how you can provide the necessary authentication information to Terraform so that it can create the resources on our behalf. So before we start working with your Terraform or before we start creating the resources on AWS using Terraform, Terraform will need to have all the necessary permissions. For example, let's say you want to launch an EC2 instance using Terraform. Now, Terraform will need to have that necessary permission so that it can launch the EC2 instances on the AWS platform. So let's say here we have our Terraform running and I want Terraform to create the resources on the AWS platform. Right now to create these resources, Terraform will need to have the necessary authentication or it needs to have the necessary permission so that it can create the resources on AWS platform for us. Okay, so the authentication to this AWS provider in Terraform, it can be provided in several resources and you can provide them in the following order. So you can either provide the authentication in the form of parameters in the provider block in the Terraform configuration or you can provide it as environment variables or you can make use of a credentials file and then you can provide that in the provider block or you can make use of your shared configuration files container credentials you can also make use of instance profiles like an iam road so these are the different different ways that you can provide authentication to terraform so that it can create the resources on our behalf now in this session we will look at how you can make use of the parameters in the provider block to give the necessary permission so that terraform can create the resources for us now before we look at this provider configuration please make a note that we should never use this in your production environment so we should never hard code the credentials it's not recommended that we hard code the credentials in the terraform configuration and this risks leakage of the secrets and this file should never be committed to a public version control system so basically from a security perspective it is recommended that we should never hard code the credentials in any of our files now you can make use of this uh, provider configuration that is hard coding th the credentials for some testing purpose or in your local system but we should never uh, use this in your production environment now under this what we do is in the provider block we basically hard code the access key and secret key so we use this uh, access underscore key and then the secret underscore key and here for the respective values you can provide the access key and secret key and that will give the necessary permission so that terraform can create the resources for us now so like i said under this provider configuration uh, you can provide by adding this access underscore key secret underscore key and also an optional token uh, to this provider and that will give the necessary permissions so for example here i have my server where my terraform is installed now let's say for the sake of example i'll create one folder let's go to that folder and inside this folder i'll create one more directory let's call it as ec2 so the whole point of this is to uh, maintain the respective folders for the respective resources so folder for ec2 folder for vpc and then so on now we'll go to this directory and here i'm going to create one main.tf file the name of the file can be anything but make sure you're ending with the .tf extension all right now we begin providing the code so first we define our provider block so in my case provider is set to aws let me increase the size of this okay so provider is set to aws and i'm just going to give the region so region is basically where do you want to create this resources and i will close the provider block so if you see here as of now i have not given any authentication and then let me add a resource block for this so let's say i want to launch an aws instance and let's give it a name so let's say example instance and within this i will give my instance type 
so i want to use t2.micro and then the ami so which ami i want to use to launch this instance so here from the console i have one ec2 instance running so i'll just copy this ami from here and i will provide it in the ami argument and we will close this resource block i'll save this file now if you're writing this code for the first time you will need to initialize the terraform code so for that we can use this terraform init command in the upcoming sessions we will be talking about your terraform life cycle there we'll talk more about your terraform init and the other commands that we generally work with but whenever you are uh, writing the code for the first time you need to initialize what this command will do is this will download the provider the aws provider that we have specified it will download that plugin for us so you can see initializing providers plugin in our case we have given aws and it has downloaded that plugin and here this will create this dot terraform folder and this is where the plugin will be available for us we'll talk more about the command later on now after initializing it let's create a plan for this again we'll talk about this command later on for now we'll just run this command and now you will see that i will get an authentication error because it does not have any credentials so you can see error configuring terraform aws provider no valid credential sources so basically terraform is complaining me that i don't have the necessary permissions to talk to the aws provider or to talk to the aws platform this is where uh, we can make use of this one way of providing your authentication which is within your provider block we can make use of this access key and secret key so let's go back to the main.tf file and uh, in the provider block we'll use this access underscore key likewise we'll use this secret underscore key and for this you will need to provide the access key and secret key from your aws console so here i have my aws console we will go to the iam service so basically you have to you have to make sure you have a user iam user that has a uh, programmatic access so the access key and secret key is generated only when you give the programmatic access to that user so let's say we'll quickly create one uh, user so to create your users you can click on add user give a name to the users let's call let's call this as example user and you can generate the access key and secret key after we create this user so let's click on next then to which group this user belongs to in my case i already have a group i'm just going to add this user to the group which gives administrator access so depending on what access you want to give to terraform you can uh, add it at the respective permissions next we review everything and click on create user and this will create a user for us now that we have the um, user next you can click on that user go to security credentials okay i forgot to add the group to the user so let me quickly add the user to the group so we'll click on the user go to groups and uh, we don't have a use group so let's add this to the group and we will save this so this will add the user to the respective group now we'll go to the security credentials and here if you scroll down you should be able to see the access key so click on create access key and we need this cli command line interface so check uh, click on that click on i understand the above recommendation click on next give a tag whatever you want so let's say terraform user and create access key so so here we should be able to see the access key and the secret key now you make sure you copy this and keep it in a secure location because um, uh, iam does not keep a record of this once you close this the secret key will be lost and again you'll have to generate a new set of keys so now you can download the csv file which will contain this access key and secret key i'm not gonna do that so we'll copy this access key and we will provide it over here likewise we'll copy the secret key and we'll provide it over here now this will give the necessary permission so now again if i run this terraform plan 
you will see now i will not get the uh, uh, no credential error and aws will be able to generate a plan for me so you can see here i'm able to see a plan now what is a plan your plan is simply a review so here we can review as to what resources aws is going to create so it is going to create one instance for me that's the label name and here you can see all the arguments which ami it is using what is the instance type all those things you can validate we'll talk about this command more later but here you can see plan it says one to add zero to change and zero to destroy so this is one way you can authenticate or you can give terraform the necessary permissions so that terraform can create the resources for us again like i said earlier uh, we should never use this for the production setup or you should never uh, store these credentials in your code if you you can use this for your testing purpose or for your local usage but we should never uh, keep this in a code and push it to a central repository that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video